Oh, uh, yes, uh, hello. Sorry, I, I didn't mean to startle you. It, it looks like it's a bit too late for that, though, though, but don't worry, don't be afraid. It's just, y your window was open, so I thought I'd let myself in. I know what you must be thinking. Uh, who's this sicko, and what are they doing in my room, say late at night? It's a, f it's, it's a fair question. This whole situation is actually quite embarrassing. I thought and hoped you would be sleeping. Not because I would want to do anything nefarious. I, I'm, I'm not a thief or anything. Or, or a home invader. Well, okay, I guess... I am a home invader, but that's not why I'm... I, I just want to talk. I, I, I just wanted you... I, I, I just wanted... Uh, you know... I, I wanted time to take things one step at a time. You know, first I'd enter your room while you were sleeping. Then, while I watched you sleep, I'd get used to being next to you, and by the time you'd wake up, I'd have gathered enough courage to talk to you. B but it, it looks like that pan kind of crashed and burnt, so it, it looks like I'm hitting the ground running here. <sighs> okay, at least my words have been kind of flowing, so t to my credit, so far, so good. Now then, about what I wanted to talk to you about. Oh, uh, where, where do I begin? Uh, so, recently, okay, not that recently, uh, it's been a while, but, but recently, I, I've been stalking you. Oh god, that sounded way less creepy in my head. But, but yes, I have been stalking you. I assure you, though, it was as wholesome as stalking gets. It, it was wholesome because uh, I, 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 I love you uh, enough to stalk you. Obviously, okay. I'm, I'm sure that's what stalkers say. But in in my case, it's true. And while I was wholesomely stalking you, I I noticed something. Well several things actually, none of them being good. Um, so, first of all, I noticed that you seemed kind of lonely. You, you don't really get out that often, uh, you don't have many friends, well, real friends anyway. Uh, not your fault, by the way, and th those friends you don't just get to spend as much time with them as I'm sure you'd like, and even when you do spend time with them, quality of that time isn't all that. I'm. It's perfectly possible to feel alone even when you're surrounded by company. Trust me, I get it. Which is why I can understand just how lonely you are. And like I said, it's, it's not your fault. But bad things happen to good people. And you're a good person, trust me. I'd be the one to know since I'm your stalker, a, a, a wholesome stalker, because I love you. Don't forget that important bit, please. But as for your condition, uh, it, it gets worse. N not to be a pessimist, but it, it gets worse. Because second of all, I also noticed you've been pretty anxious recently, a, a bit stressed. I, I don't know if you've even noticed, sometimes it just sort of happens, but I've recently noticed, and I don't think the cause is just from your loneliness, because I've been watching you, and believe me, I, I know you have a lot of things to be stressed and anxious about, and I can see the effect that has on you, and is still having on you. You, you just haven't been yourself. Your, your eating habits changed, 
your sleeping habits changed? So much about you has changed. You're not the same person you once were, and I'm afraid that if this goes on any longer, then you'll lose your sense of self, and you might even forget who you even ever were. Which, uh, here's the good part, is, is where I come in, because I, the wholesome stalker who loves you, uh, I, I regularly slip you a few extra bills in your wallet when you're not aware. Uh, you thought you were just bad at math and keeping track of your spending, didn't you? But that affectionate, wholesome stalker, uh, you know, me, uh, has, has made it my mission to save you, my very life's purpose. Now, how do I intend to do that, you might ask? It's it's very simple. Kidnapping. No, no, no don't freak out. I, I, I mean, yes, it's kidnapping, but consensually. I will consensually kidnap you. I'll only kidnap you if y you want it. Okay, though, I guess at that point, it's not really kidnapping if you consent. Now... I know that must sound so absurd, but there's some logic here, I swear. You see, your life has trouble, it has stress and problems, and I'm here to take you away from all that. I'm offering you my hand. Uh, it's a bit sweaty, I know. Uh, like I said, I thought you'd be sleeping, but I'm offering my hand to take you home to my home, and you, you can live there with me. Uh, it's a very low-stress environment. Y you don't have to worry about high expectations or responsibility there. Heck, I was blown away when you caught that spoon that was falling. I even marked it in the notebook I used to chronicle your life. Uh, I can show you sometime. <laughs> And you don't have to worry about money there either. I'll be paying all the bills. And I'm not just talking about necessities either. I'll give you some for yourself too. And I don't charge on your spending habits. And uh, I know your spending habits. But what might be most important of all is that I'll make sure you get the attention you deserve so you feel loved and you never feel lonely. I work from home, you see, so I can be there all the time. And I know a magical chant to make you super loved. Uh, it goes like this. I love you. I'm a very powerful wizard. I, I know. Uh, seriously, though. I lo love you. If I was a moth, you would be my lamp. If I was a bee, you would be my honey. Well, uh, okay, you're already my honey. Oh, nice, you only winced a little bit. Uh, okay, I know, I know what can assure you a bit better. Uh, hold on, I, I got it right here. I like to keep it on me just because feels like it gives me strength. Okay, it, here, look, it's a notebook where I wrote, I love you, from corner to corner. See, it's all handwritten. Nothing from a cheat, nothing from a printer. That, that'd be cheating. Hopefully, you can feel a bit more assured now that I love you, because I really do love you. Did I mention that I love you? I love you. Uh, <laughs> anyway, I, I should let you sleep. Do give my offer of kidnapping you some thought. I'll be here again tomorrow night. I, I, I visit every night after all. Oh, and please don't lock your window. Uh, am I forgetting anything else? Oh, oh right. Uh, oh, one last thing. I love you. <laughs> uh.